right? Like in New Orleans. Just set that back up on that tree. You won't pull it slowly. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> So when you end up leaving the panel, you end up having this character sit home with you. I would hope that now that you've created this, you all realize that intellectually you've all contributed and you all own Yuki Green and all the things that have gone on with him. And you can use it. Or you can take the same concept and create new things to write from. Or to create a character that you want to cosplay, that you want to work around as we run around in our crazy get, get up all the time, the stuff that comes out of our heads. Creating a three-dimensional character that you can also play as much as write just as much fun. That's what I'm cosplaying as. Woohoo! Alright. I am the warrior fairy Yuki from a magical land. Ridding of evil and perverted men. Cool. Right then. Strong. Strong. Yeah. Awesome. I think. What's our time? How are we doing? Cool. We'll get a little bit yeah. Awesome. I'd like to take this one moment to point out that our character's name is literally Green Snow. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> <It's true. laughs> <laughs> he found the cup. They just didn't tell her. <laughs> There's a toothpick in my belly. So, Bobby, you didn't jump off. Yeah. <laughs> Good word. So, some of the things that. So, tell, me, tell me some things that you like about Yuki as a character. What do you like about him? Anybody? It's you do not like him as a character. I like that he's not strictly a good or evil type. He's, okay. He knows what he's doing. He's thing. all about him. Do you like the neutrality of his character? Yes. Okay. What do you not like about his character? It's like we were, we were just to put him up and set him right here in front of you. What would you not like about this character? He's too pretty. He's too pretty. Okay. In the beginning. So in the beginning, he's he's too innocent for what he becomes. Yes. Yeah. For you. Okay. Towards the end, I imagine with the beard and he's just dirty because he doesn't bathe himself. He's a small feel. He smells like he smells like alligator and refuse and all that. Okay. So he has the old man flies around him. <laughs> <laughs> old man flies, but he's still got that 36, 24. 36. 36. Yeah. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> and, and the twitch. And the twitch is called. very but charming and attractive twitch, apparently. Uh, it's a charming and attractive twitch that's being caused by a magical toothpick in his belly. It's an endearing SOS. He's forever He's forever winking at my like. <laughs> That's what God wants. It's a little awkward a few hours later. It's like, okay, okay, you got me. I'm right here. <laughs> you can stop now. I can't. I don't know what happened. I I'm in total chick time. mode. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Swallow the toothpick one time. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Constant. Going at it. Well, at least it's just his eye. You know? yeah, at least it is just that. I'm sorry. Just, it's really, I really hope you like this about me. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. It's just gonna happen. Yeah. That would be really annoying when you were like trying to ride your alligator. Did I say that on my sword play? Yeah. <laughs> oh, but apparently he's very good at sword play. Yes. I know. It's the toothpick. Toothpick doesn't know what's going on. It's it's deflect. Just, it's ready deflect. for it. <laughs> My AC too high for this. You can't hit me. <laughs> this is right. No. <laughs> okay. What time we got? It's 
Wow. Mm-hmm. We have to. We will have to make a small side note that we're not even the people that usually do this panel. No. <laughs> so we're like, we did the thing. Are we done? Okay, cool, awesome, we got this. <laughs> That's how that goes. So I will admit this was totally better than how anything I could have imagined would come out of this panel. Yes. It's totally better than that. I would take this story home and tell this to my family. It's like, no, we can't put this really cool thing. Or find it on YouTube. Detailed notes? Yeah, well, we have more than detailed notes. What, like five pages worth of notes? I, I wrote a lot, you guys. I stopped writing at one point, though. So. I'd love making a little mini story about this gear. Absolutely, we yes. should totally do that. I'll be able. I'll be able to go home and write about them because I have it on my iPad. Yes. And it'll be on YouTube. Do it. Hmm. I don't know. I was looking at this first page and I was like, hmm. He's born in the back of the tavern, but he's an orphan. It's interesting. Okay. So I guess how did mom die? Birth. In childbirth. Well, to his father. Or she could have been. Wasn't there. In the back of the... Probably, probably killed by an assassin. Gotcha. So, or trampled by some horse and carriage. She gave birth in the back of a tavern. I mean, was she was she a yeah, sultry woman? She's a barmaid. She's a bar witch. Oh, uh, a bar witch. Just like the aunt. It's like the, the owner. So is it mother's sister? Yeah. yeah. Yes. So mother's sister... So they were both sultry women. One just happened to own a tavern. Was the brothel in question where he was conceived? Yes. Yes? Just couldn't make it to the doctor in time for the tavern? Okay. Good. Well, usually they didn't go anywhere when they gave birth. They just stayed in their house. Yeah. It is and they, lived, they lived in the brothel, so let's just find a nice comfy room. Maybe there was and get a separate birth. room for that kind of thing. It Away happened from. a lot. So obviously it would have been sort of a traumatic thing. Yeah. She yeah. dies in childbirth, she can't get out, and she has to give birth to the child. That's pretty traumatic. Mm-hmm. Mother's grave was behind the brothel. Mm. I've lived with that his whole life. Does Yuki ever go searching for his father, who he never knew? No. 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 Right, Probably because he heard all sorts of horror stories from his aunt about how awful <coughs> his father was, despite not Dead knowing Deadbeat ran away. Yeah. Forget yeah. that guy. But maybe, maybe the father never knew. Maybe, maybe he was just a customer and just left. Yeah. And he it's never knew. It's possible it is the 1800s. You never know. Maybe the mother never knew what the father was, who the father was. That's very possible as well. Alright. Um, so, Yuki, he, his early childhood, you remember he... I'm sorry. I've just temporarily forgotten how to human. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, he went to jail. And he inherited the brothel. When did he learn to sword fight? Fantastic. <laughs> in jail. In jail. You can sword fight in jail? I don't know. You guys. He, he, he befriended the... do a lot. <laughs> we are People missing. die. Yeah, really. <laughs> the, the guards Maybe. wanted entertainment. Yeah. yeah. They have some gladiators thing going on. Yeah. Maybe there's an older prisoner. It's fight, was, it's fight and live or die and who oh, cares. There was a prison play. <laughs> he learned how to fight for Romeo and Juliet. Maybe. Yeah. So it's a... It's theatrical sword fighting. It's not real sword fighting. No. This is why he's horrible at being an assassin. Yeah. <laughs> Until he learns something. <laughs> because I can only parry, thrust, and shimmy so many times before you die and you're not dying. <laughs> maybe, not actually, maybe he just had a twitch in the eye and he just like couldn't see her at because he kept going. <laughs> I mean, so when in his lifetime did he discover this toothpick of magic? Well, obviously it was when he was 28. Where in his story is this? Is this while he's in prison? Is this right before he goes to prison for the last time? Like, in the brothel. So in the brothel. So I, 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 I think he stole it from somebody in the brothel. But yeah, once he gets out of prison for the last time, I was like, that's fine. Okay. He's like, hmm, I'm, I'm out of jail. I have to hate me to steal something. Why would you steal a toothpick? Because you don't know what it is. You just took something out of the pocket. And just like, oh, crap. oh well. Yeah, pick pocket. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Chew so on it and feel a surge measure. <laughs> okay. All right. What's with this thing? <laughs> Is there a particular reason that he's scared of snakes, spiders? Snakes and spiders? He found one under his bed. He was 
child. A snake or a spider? A snake. What if he was punished by being put in a cellar as a child? That's where the spiders grew. Yep. And he would undoubtedly be left with snakes and spiders, but would also be alone in the dark. Oh, yeah, but he's not afraid of the dark. He's just no. afraid of being alone. Yeah. But you can't see a snake or a spider in the dark. That's frightening. You could feel them. Maybe there was a shaft of light which led him to see the snakes and spiders. He heard, he heard the snakes oh. rubbing up his legs, spiders crawling on his back. You got bit? Oh, no. No. Mm -mm. That's fine. <laughs> He's a child. He don't know how to react. Stomping and running would be a great one. What are you saying? That brothel is very harsh. You had a lot of punishment in that brothel. <laughs> he was obviously really bad at whatever they told him to do. Got stabbed in the foot? How did he get stabbed in the foot? How does it go? He was stealing from the cook. He was stealing an apple. Oh, so he was stealing food from the cook and the cook stabbed him in the foot. Did he knock the foot down on the ground? Like, do you have to knock the foot down so he can get in the foot? Or is it just like, I'm going to hold you up by your ankle? Stab, stab, stab. No, just threw the knife down, one through his foot. Yeah, threw the knife. Oh, that's, You're that's stealing? Stuck. <laughs> that's stuck. So, why, was, why did he have to steal an apple if his aunt, aunt mm -hmm. owned the brothel? And um, did we decide the tavern was owned by his mother? Was that because he wanted, to, uh, he wanted to make the cook mad. Didn't he? So he actually wanted, he was antagonizing the cook. Yes. yes. Rivalry with the cook. <clears throat> Learned his lesson quick. That's a bad time, man. Like, I don't know anybody who would rightfully in their mind, like, piss him. Hey, at least they cut off his fingers no, or his hand. Ingredient something. I mean, eventually it happened, but at least he didn't, they Ooh. could have cut off his fingers or his hand just for stealing. Yeah. I mean, you know, step to the foot, that, that'll probably heal. Unlike his lost hand, which we yes. later found out. Yeah. What is this dish? Meat pies. It's all the same. Meat pies. Why? Why was he antagonizing the cook? What did the cook do to him? He's bored. Maybe he not maybe, that many kids to play with. Huh? Maybe he in a brothel. Maybe he caught. He's the one that he walked in on his aunt working with. Ooh. Oh, so the cook has. And he got mad because he thought his his aunt is a mother figure. So, so he wanted to he wanted to antagonize the cook because of that. Cook frequents the brothel. Like you're not my dad. We fell and then stabbed. But it's entirely possible that the cook could have been his dad. Could have, but he don't know. Yeah, ain't nobody know that. Nah. The mother didn't even know that. Maybe they were in a bit more of a long-standing relationship. He tried to be a father figure, mm. and he didn't have a lot of respect for his father, so he didn't have a lot of respect for a father figure. Very possible. So, Cook is a father figure. Father figure. Father figure. So he got stabbed in the foot by his father figure. Was uh, his wannabe father figure. He didn't want his father. Ooh. That's kind of angst, up. man. He got angst going on. And, and then see, he runs off into the woods and gets lost and he gets embarrassed and can't say anything about it. That's because his friend saved him. And his friend saves him. Saves yes. him that he, you know, it's like finds him in the woods, takes him, leads him. Onto the right path, and he's embarrassed. Like, I didn't cry. I cried, Ross. Don't tell me about it. I cried. Yuki has some definite emotional problems. <laughs>